In today's episode of Nail School, we're gonna be focusing on acrylic application. Specifically, how do you get the right pearl of acrylic? How do you pick it up? How do you lay it down? How do you know it's the right consistency? How do you get the right amount of liquid in the brush before you apply it into the powder? This is what we're gonna be covering today. Let's go to school. Cool, bro. Uh, so, what we got going on today at Nail School? It's all about consistency, acrylic consistency. I really believe that if you understand the right amount of liquid to use, your powder is going to flow into place. You wanna to try to build your sculpts in the least amount of pearls. And I wanna show you guys how to be able to do that with one. The biggest problem I find that beginners make when they're working with acrylic is they take too much liquid off your brush. Not having enough liquid on your brush is going to lead to a dry pearl, which is not gonna bond well with a natural nail, which leads to lifting. So I wanna show you exactly how much liquid to use so that you can pick up a large pearl and work from cuticle to free edge so that you don't have to do that much work when it actually comes to the application. When you pull the the base, right, of, of the hair to the tip, it's gonna drag liquid all the way to the front. And what I wanna make sure that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick up with the side that has the most liquid. I'm not gonna drag it off one side and then pick it up with the side that has the least amount of liquid. I wanna be able to pull it to one side and pick it up with the side that has the most powder. That way I could keep it, you can see, on one side of the brush. And that way when I actually release it, it comes right off. When you're trying to pick up a pearl, a large pearl, especially with a brush, a number nine, like this one, right? Like the artistic sculptor. Um, what you can also do, instead of actually dragging it halfway, is just by lightly tapping it lightly tapping it. And it's going to get the, what I call, excess off and keep enough at the tip so that you can basically pick up a monster pearl. You see the side? When I picked it up, I'm not dragging it, right? I'm not dragging it. I'm not stabbing it. I'm not stabbing it because it gets it all over the whole entire brush. What I'm actually doing is I'm just either lightly pulling it, like you said, halfway, or just lightly tapping it and then using the opposite side of the brush. And I need to put almost a little bit more pressure. You see how my brush went into the powder? Look at the divot that it actually created. I find that a lot of beginners the, the, the problem is that they do this. They try to hold the brush on the surface, and then if there's too much, what ends up happening is the pearl falls back inside the powder. You don't want the pearl to fall back inside the powder, because then you try to go back for it, and you end up with this booger on the end of your brush. <laughs> What you wanna be able to do, again, is you wanna be able to pick up a large enough pearl so that when you set it to the cuticle area, everything self-levels from the top to the bottom. I'm going to tap, I'm going to bounce, right, on the surface, I'm gonna hold it upside down, keeping the pearl on one side so it doesn't fall off my brush. I'm going to set it down, I'm going to release it, and then start working around the cuticle area with the tip of my brush to get it super tight. Notice how everything is actually starting to flow down towards the front of the nail. And again, the angle, all the bulk, is working down towards the front of the nail. Then I could actually start using the body and start bringing it forward. You notice that how everything is actually kind of already in a square free edge, right? As I start dragging the product out, from cuticle to free edge, you'll notice that all I actually have to do at this point is just put it into shape. So this is really a, a way to kind of speed sculpt. I think that's a really good, clear explanation of it's gonna solve a ton of problems, especially when you get the right consistency, especially around your customer's cuticle areas. Do not pick up two or three pearls to work around the perimeter of the nail. 
It takes one. Once you get one down, once you master that one perfect pearl, your full sets, your fills, your art application, everything you do around the cuticle area and the growth channels is gonna be tight. Tight and perfect. Nice.